Hello friends, welcome back to Creative Minds. So today I'll be telling you on how to use the Web Viewer component in MIV App Inventor. So without delaying, let's see how to use it. So first, let's open a MIT App Inventor. To open a MIT App Inventor, go to your Google Chrome browser and type a MIT App Inventor. And now click on the first link and click on Create Apps. So now it has been redirected you to the MIT App Inventor website. Now let's click on Start New Project. So that I'll be giving my project a name. So I'll be giving it as Web Viewer. Make sure you don't give spaces. Instead, you can use underscore. And now click OK. So now you can see our project is created with the name Web Viewer. Now, where exactly is Web Viewer? Well, it is in the user interface's last option. So the last option in user interface, as you can see over here. So now we'll be dragging and placing it. Now, first of all, I would like to tell you why do we use this web viewers option? Well, this web viewer option is used for uh, giving links. So it's like we can put our own link. For example, you can put your Google Chrome's link, and you can put your uh, YouTube link, or you can put a Mighty App Inventor's link, any link of your wish, any link. So you will be putting it in the home URL. In this uh, thing, you will be putting the URL. So you can give any link. So for example, you can even copy this link and then paste it. So whenever you like run the app in your Android device, you can see that the link which you gave will be displayed in your Android device. So for example, if I give the YouTube's link and then uh, if I copy the YouTube's link and paste it in the home URL and when I run the app in my Android device, you can see that uh, in your Android device, you can see that the YouTube will be open without doing anything or without typing anything. So that is the use of web viewer. You can give any link to it. So now let us uh, click on the question mark to see more. So web viewer, it's a component for viewing web pages. The home URL can be specified in the designer section. So that's what I told here in the home URL or in the blocks editor. So I don't want to go to the blocks editor and do it. So for, uh, you can just give it over here. So which is very easy. So the view can be set to the fo uh, to follow links when they are tabbed and user can fill in web forms. So I hope you got a brief idea on web viewer. So now let's see uh, on how to put the home URL. So now I'll be using my channels link. So I'm going to home URL and then I'm going to paste my link. So this is my channels link. So now I have typed in my channels link and I want to tell you the surprising part is that you do not need to code in the block section. There no need to be used at all in the block section. Nothing needs to be done in the block section. Only designer section is enough to use this web viewers option. So that's the amazing part for this. You can just copy the link and then paste it. You no need to code. There is no single line of coding or dragging the blocks. So I would like to tell you one more thing that I have put my channel's link, but you see that in the device, which is in the phone, which is over here, you can see something called screen one in the, you know, in the, uh, in the brown color paint, in the gray color paint with the white thing, which is screen one. That is not at all re uh, relevant to my, you know, the link which I put. My channel's name is Creative Minds and it says screen one over here. So, is there a way to change it? Well, there is we can change it so just click on screen one and just scroll down till the end you can see something called title which says screen one over here now we can change it so i'm putting um, creative minds so that so that's my channel's name but you can put any other name so you see that it has been changed to creative minds so yes we have now completed our app and this is how the designer section looks like actually it don't looks like this but whenever you run the app the page just appears so now let's run the code to see what happens just click on connect and click on a companion 
Now when you're on Android device, go ahead and open MIT App Inventor. So I'll be scanning with QR code. If you want to connect with code, you can connect with code, but in this case, I'll be scanning with QR code. I have now scanned the QR code. As you can see, the web viewer progress bar is going on. And that's it. Now our app is finished. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, I have put my home URL of my channel's link and whenever I run it, it just came like this. And as you can see, instead of screen 1, it came as creative minds at the gray color screen, which you can see. So whenever you put the home URL, it is going to come without doing anything. So yes, so that is the help which the, uh, the web viewer provides. So if you like my video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. If you find this video was really useful, then why are you waiting? Just share it to your friends. And if you have any comments, please do post it in the comments section. So thanks for watching. Bye.